Today we've got a Keystone Springdale. It is a 260 BH model. Guess I'll kind of zip you in. Does that power stabilizers, power tongue jacks, all that good stuff. Weight's just about 5,200 pounds. Uh, this is a pretty modern take on a traditional camper floor plan. So when you walk in, you've got this jackknife sofa. Folds down to make into a bed. Do a good job with cabinets right up top. Got your stereo set in there, side windows, kitchen area here on uh, the driver's side or the off-camp site, depending upon how you wanna wanna break that down. The fridge, 12 volt of course, like most things are nowadays. And then uh, the rear bunks, so two double rear bunks, 300 pound capacities on them. Top one's got a window. Bottom one does not. Get some storage down below. Pretty traditional corner bath. This one's a lot larger than most, so you could actually fit into it. Skylights, medicine cabinet, all that good stuff. Spin you guys around, you get to the booth dinette. I don't know if you guys had noticed, but the windows in this thing are huge. This window right here is about the size of a traditional rear kitchen, so. I'm standing at the back looking forward. It lets a lot of light in. All right, and then uh, moving up to the front. Master suite, as they say. Does have the laundry uh, chute right here. Drop your hamper and your pass-through. Drop your dirty clothes in, out of sight, out of mind. Double shelf, like Springdale's all have. Prepped for that uh, second television in here. Does have a roof vent as well. So that is this unit as a whole. It's short, sweet. Like I said, it's a traditional floor plan. It's just they've uh, added a little modern flirt to it. I guess my favorite part would be the wall here. I like how they back it. But you also get a solid sliding door versus just the curtains. A lot of them you'll see like a little half wall over here and then you'll get some curtains. And this one you can actually close down and have a little more privacy. Again, things are going quick. If you guys are interested, just let me know.